In this video, I want to cover a app that might help give night mode to users who have an older iPhone and do not want to upgrade to the newest phones. Now, the quality is not going to be the same as the new phones coming out, but I think that the quality will be good enough to interest you in purchasing this app so that way you can get some slightly better shots at night. Now these are not perfect by any measure and we're going to be going over some sample photos both without night mode in the app and with just a regular iPhone app and that way we can take a look and compare it and I'll be zooming in on some of these photos so you can see the difference in detail if there is any. So sit back and relax and we'll kind of jump into it after this short little intro. Before I get started on this review, I just want to say welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I make tech videos based around tech that I use on a daily basis or that I find really interesting. And my perspective is from an engineering college student. And in some cases, some videos will be geared towards engineering and tech with my iPad or my electronics. And then other videos will be just general tech videos like this one. So if you're interested in that type of content, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I will be giving away some giveaway details at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. All right, now let's just take a closer look at this app and take a look at what it's like to use and also the different buttons and functions of the app. So we're just going to open up night mode. The app is actually called Neural Cam night mode so if you're looking it up, look it up as that or you can just use the link in the description that I'll leave for you. When you open up this app, you see the viewfinder and then you see the basic controls and you can also flip it and do a selfie video right here or a photo. And then we take it back here and basically you have custom controls or manual controls for the white balance, the focus and the and the exposure. So you can go ahead and customize it however you want or hit auto. Same thing with the focus. And I think that's really cool because you don't get manual controls on the actual iPhone app. So this will be a cool way to kind of get that. And then up on the top, you have the settings app, which right here, you can take a look at all the different settings and you can basically mirror the selfies. So that way it would show as if it is from Snapchat, not if it, because normally when you take a photo on the uh, regular camera app, if you don't have the feature enabled like you can in iOS 14, then it will have it where you look off to what you would normally see on Snapchat or what you would normally see yourself. So then we take a look at the grid options. You can do a whole bunch of different grid options right here. So you have golden ratio, four by four and three by three, which is really cool. Or you can have no grids, photo resolution. You can customize that to your liking and also the different formats. So you can have a um, kind of a raw format with the TIFF file. And then you have the customer service and the regular kind of stuff right here from the app. And then um, right here in the top, we see a timer control, a tripod control, and that's basically when you have the phone set up on a tripod and it could take advantage for the maximum exposure level at in a really, really dark setting. So that's something that's really cool. Taking a look at this um, light bulb icon, you can see that it is actually going to be a torch. So basically when you take a photo, it'll lightly use the flashlight on the back of the phone. So that way it could help it take better photos overall. All right, so here's the app in action. All you do is press the camera shutter button and it will take multiple different photos and it'll show you the progress. And then once it's done processing and combining those images together, it will show you the final result. And the cool thing is it'll save automatically to your camera roll and we'll take a regular shot just to compare it. So that way we can see how much of a difference it makes. And then right here, you can see that it does make quite a big difference and we'll show you the full images coming up as well as some additional sample photos. All 
All right, so this 500 sub giveaway, what am I gonna be doing? So I'm gonna be giving away two different prizes. And basically in the comments, I want you to comment which one you want and why. And basically what I'm gonna be giving away is two apps and I'll pay for it and I'll gift it to you through Apple. And one will be Notability or GoodNotes, depending on whichever one you preference. It'll be just one note taking app. So you can basically say in the comments, I want option one, the note taking app, and I prefer Notability or I prefer GoodNotes. And then as a second option, I'll be gifting the app Shift Screen because it's a really good productivity tool if you're gonna be using your iPad as your only device and you're gonna be using it with the secondary monitor so if that's something you're interested in then comment one of those two as well as following me on twitter and following me on instagram and subscribing to the youtube channel and if your username is different on your social media then just include that in the youtube comment and one comment per person if you do double comments then i will disqualify you just to make it more fair i don't want people spamming the comments and trying to get a win that way we'll be doing more giveaways too so you know thousand subscribers that will be another giveaway i don't know what we'll be doing for that but as i grow i will be doing more giveaways to give back to you as a thank you for helping me grow my channel so stay tuned for that and may the odds forever be in your favor okay so that's going to wrap it up for this video let me know what you think of this app and if you're going to be downloading it yourself i'll leave a link in the description so that way you can take a closer look at it and don't forget to take it easy with some tea and i'll see you guys in the next video